Rising, and as we left you, it was under 300. Now it's over 300. It looks to be settling at around that point. It is a great day on Wall Street. Although a lot can happen in seven minutes, you just never know. Dow Jones Industrial is at 13,263 on a day where we had oil down more than three dollars. That powered the uh, object, you know, the the, pa the happiness about uh, the buoyancy sort of of the markets here. But also Donald Cohn of uh, the Chicago Fed talking about how there would probably be or the potential to be nimble and people read that as yet another rate cut coming up December 11th. Kind of those, it's a bad story and that's why the market thinks it's a good Isn't story because strange? they'll cut rates mm -hmm. and things will be better for the market. But the bottom line is there is a lot of good news behind these numbers as well, in, including perhaps the notion that we've turned the corner on the financial crisis. And let's throw that back to the panel. Now, is it conceivable, Mike Norman, that with all of the various uh, machinations, all of the different kind of financial instruments tied into mortgages, uh, that we are close to the end, or is this thing still got a long way to go? First, I want to say a few things about coal. No. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know so much. Yeah, right. Now I know so much. Thanks <laughs> to you, All it took I was the commercial break. <laughs> he did research yeah. quickly. Um, look, there, the... the um, what you're talking about, there's a flip side to everything, okay? We know who the losers are. Some of the banks, the creditors, the lenders, people who bought homes, they paid too much money. There's a flip side to it. During that credit bubble expansion, the economy was very strong. Businesses made a lot of money. Corporate cash on balance sheets is enormous. The second aspect of that flip side is that a lot of people out there in America, potential home buyers, buyers people who want to accumulate assets on the cheap, they're going to have their opportunity. Listen, real property, real estate, housing, it's not like we had a bubble in tulips here, okay? These are valid assets, and I think in the end it's, it's going to be fine. Tracy, I know you're watching some of these names. I, I love the fact that General Motors is up four and a third percent. This has been a dog for so many days, and here we have even General Motors not just moving higher but having a real rally. Well, all of them, That's not, even the financials, they were hammered. I mean, well, we have to keep the financials in perspective. You know, by the end of trading yesterday, year to date, the financials were down almost 22%. The sector as a whole was up 5% today. So, I mean, it's, it's gotten some back, but clearly not all of it. You know, we have to be careful when your day goes from frightening on Monday to fabulous two days later. So, we, again, have Good to keep point. all this in perspective. And that basically what happened today was there was just less bad news. We had a little bit of good news from the Fed saying that, you know, maybe there will be another cut. But I think we, again, need to be careful. We need to put this in perspective. The volume definitely picked up. It's a lot of, uh, it's all up volume, though, so it's all buying. You know, Liz, as you said, this last 10 minutes of the day are the best part down here. It's like a basketball game, right? Everything happens in the last 10 minutes. Thankfully, we're holding on thus far. But I think we need to be careful going forward. I don't know if we're, this is like our takeoff point. Has she been, I know. Has she be been dating Peter Schiff or Listen, something like no, that? She no, no, no. No, it's like, it's, hey, it's like the Lakers versus the Celtics exactly. back in the 80s, yes, right? Yes, yes. Last few minutes here. Well, I like Red Arback, so I, I prefer when the Celtics were winning. But Peter right. Schiff, give us a little bit of a caution here. Uh, what do you think is going to happen next? What's the next shoe to drop? Oh, there's so many shoes, it's a centipede. You know, there's no way to know which one, is, which one is coming next. You know, on the days when they have short covering, there's a lot of short covering coming on today. You know, the worst stocks go up the most because that's where the shorts are covering. And so that's why you're seeing strength in the, in the home builders okay. and the financials. You know, the gold stocks are having a good day today, too, Mike. I mean, you know, you know I've got a lot of gold stocks and, and, and mining stocks okay. and, and oil stocks that have go. actually outperformed Google. You need to take a look at them. All got right, it. we got to go. Right. We're up 331 points, closing about just around the corner. We gave him the last word, though, <laughs> but we've got a lot of good news to continue to report on. Keep it here.